graphs are a mathematical structure used to model relationships between data. This field of mathematics is commonly called graph theory. You may hear these referred to as networks or knowledge graphs. It doesn't matter what they're referred at, just know that they all mean the same thing. This is a graph that represents four friends in a friendship group. Alice, Bob, Carlos and Dina. Alice is friends with only Bob, but Bob is also friends with Carlos and Dina too. In graph theory, these grey circles are commonly called nodes. Historically, and in the field of discrete mathematics, you may see nodes referred to as vertices. In our example, the friends are the nodes, but they can represent anything such as products, places or concepts. The lines on the graph are called edges. These represent the links between the nodes. In our example, this is the friendship, but just like nodes, they can represent anything. Mathematically, graphs are represented by the notation G is defined by VE, where V is the vertices and E are the edges. This notation is important as it will show up in future videos explaining different graph algorithms. The graph currently showing is a basic graph, but there are many different types. For example, this graph is a directed graph. The difference here is that the edges have a direction. Here, we can say that Alice is friends with Bob, but he's not friends with Alice. Another popular type of graph is a weighted graph. In the graph, the edges are assigned a value or a weight. A graph can be both weighted and directed. As mentioned earlier, graphs don't have to be focused on people or a social network. They can represent anything. Here we have a weighted graph representing airports across the world. In this example, the nodes are the airports and the edges are routes between these airports, weighted by the number of miles. We could use this to calculate the shortest route between two points. An evolution tree is an example of a directed graph. We can show the direction of evolution and calculate the number of hops between two dinosaurs. Another interesting application of weighted graphs includes representing a molecule. Here we have a caffeine molecule with the atoms as nodes and the bonds as edges. As you can see, graph can be used to represent a huge number of entities, but the real power of graph comes from leveraging graph algorithms to learn new things about our data. In the next video on graph, we will explore the most common collection of algorithms, centrality. Thank you for watching our introduction to graph and let us know what topics you'd like us to cover in the future.